as part of a continuing and ongoing uh, Toronto Green Screen initiative uh, and uh, with a conscience to green the environment, we uh, looked into putting catalytic converters and particulate filters on our diesel generators. Uh, we s uh, researched a lot of firms who have this product off to offer and we selected global emission systems for their product for price, uh, the compact size and uh, availability. We've had three uh, uh, particular filters and catalytic converters installed on our, our generators so far. We have an ongoing plan to get the whole fleet done. And uh, we've had testing done on these machines and the, the difference between machines without these that have a Jesse unit and don't have a Jesse unit is dramatic. The, uh, you'll see the dramatic results in the video between the units that have a Jesse unit installed and the one without. Uh, these engines, when they were brand new, they met all the uh, tier emissions as required by the EPA. Regulation is becoming more and more stringent, uh, and with our new Jesse systems, we are surpassing the next generation of emission requirements. Over the years, we've had a lot of complaints from neighborhoods about the smell from the diesel exhaust, and we're uh, convinced that uh, these units, because they're low order, we can tell the low order here, those uh, complaints from neighbors are going to go way down. So they're cleaner, they're quiet, and uh, they're going to be very looked at very favorably in the uh, neighborhoods that we shoot in. The other reason we chose to do the generators first rather than the trucks, the truck engines, is because the generator can run as many as 16 hours a day, just putting out a lot of pollution. Every, every minute we can reduce pollution coming out of that engine is fantastic. Studios are demanding that all these suppliers you know, were being responsible environmentally. So when we were on the search for a company to handle all of our emissions diesel on our big generators, uh, Mark Scannell and Bruce Smith found your company, Global Emissions, and passed that on to me. When we contacted you, you people, uh, you've been right there the whole time, very, very efficient, you know, used to, or I'm not sure if you're used to our industry and the demands of, you know, we book an appointment with you, we had to change it because all of a sudden customers needing us were on a, a daily basis with specialty equipment, especially like this. So you guys worked, worked well with us and helped to jump when we needed you to jump and accommodate the, the yeah, always changing schedules. So, you know, global emissions has been great. We also had a few complaints over the years with this unit behind us because of the size of the generator, 500 amps, 60 kilowatt, and the close proximity with the crew. They're on board. There is no escape for them. Um, so it was always an issue with the fumes and the, the, the stink and side effects and headaches, things like that. So we decided to do that one as the first one. It was a smaller unit, um, so you know, not as big a risk for us, pocketbook, everything involved, and it made sense, again, because of the close proximity with crew. So once we had the unit installed, went through our R&D and fitting it, so far, everyone's loving it. If there's no smell next, that anyone can, can really think of or, you know, so there's no smell, it's really helped with sound, it was a, a quiet generator to begin with, but anything noise factor in our industry is a, is a big bonus. It used to smoke at startup uh, religiously, and now there's, there's really nothing when you start up. Uh, it was an acceptable thing, it lasted a few minutes, um, but it was still a negative that if someone was close by or walking through as you happen to be firing it up and it happened to be the wrong person, you know, it could have been a lead actor or a producer or somebody of, of that nature. It's just something negative that they've going to remember. You know, you do your jobs, the equipment's supposed to do what, it's, what they're paying for it to do, and they expect that. So now we've got that. We can make the, clearly make a statement that our emissions are, are next to zero, or we can call it zero, even though it's you can't say zero, but there's nothing that they can detect, and they're happy. That's the bottom line.